If you were wondering what to do this Labor Day weekend, there's a way to get some exercise and for a good cause. Hope for Three. Hope for Three was established in 2011. It's our 10 year anniversary. So we're super proud of that and happy to reach that milestone. And we were founded by a local family that lives in Richmond that have three young daughters. They're 15 now, but all three girls are on the autism spectrum. And mom's name is Hope. Hope for Three is where the name comes from. So what we do is we provide resources and support to families living with autism spectrum disorder. We provide resources to anybody, anywhere, and we provide financial aid to local Fort Bend County residents and we'll pay for almost any autism related need or service. They go through an application process, a board vote, and um, then we award the family and the provider and, and let people know who's who's got what and what award. Uh, we never give money to a family or a caregiver, but only to an approved service provider, treatment facility, or vendor. And to date, we've given away about $1.2 million. So we're proud of that fact as well. In last year during the pandemic, we were unable to hold our largest event, Strike Out Autism, which is a partnership with the Sugar Land Skeeters and all 18 mayors, city mayors and the, the county judge. So we replaced it with an event that we thought would be healthy and open for every one called walk roll stroller roll it's a 5k 1k 3k or 1k walk anytime anywhere between the nine day period starting on saturday september 4th and ending on september 12th and so what it is is basically you can form a team with your co-workers with family members and you pay a small fee for adults of $25 and for children $15. And it's just a fun and healthy way for us to raise awareness and uh, raise some money for the kids and, and families that we support. And it, it good, the beauty of it all is you can walk anytime, anywhere, another state, another city. Um, we're all meeting on 9-11 at Sugarland Memorial Park, meeting at 8.30 to start walking at 9.30. It's not an organized event, but just have a lot of uh, families and teams and volunteers coming out to walk with us. So we'd love for folks to join us, absolutely. But they can also register. I failed to mention that on our website. Um, it's under events and you just register there. You send in a picture to our email. And then we have an actual virtual award ceremony on the 14th at 7.30 and we contact the winners. We have best name, uh, best t-shirt. So uh, you have to do it by the honor system and we trust that most folks will. <laughs> Last year, we had over six states. We had individuals from st six states competing at over 200 walkers. So we thought it was a really great event and decided to do it again this year and moving a little slower, but uh, people are starting to sign up and register. And last year, also our oldest walker, excuse me, she strolled the whole way. She was 95. Her name is Mima, is what we call her. And um, 95 years old, Mae Strickland, and she signed up again to do it this year. For Stafford CSI, this is Randall Williams.